Hello everyone, and what's that game where you get to blast a bunch of random little aliens off into space? It's Kerbal Space Program time! And here we go. Alright, after that last failed attempt, I got a... I got a... I want to say a good idea. We'll see. We, we, we will see. Let us accept. Okay. So what I'm thinking of doing is doing a three-tier rocket design where essentially you just... Not really a three-tier, though. Eh, you guys will see. You will all see. You will all see. And you will all laugh and cry as I fail miserably at doing something awesome. Which will never in a million years happen. Let's be honest here. Okay, so we're going to want to... Actually, for this design, that won't work. But, uh, I'm thinking build out, not up, if that makes sense. Okay, so let's pop over here. The old parachute. Yeah, for the uh, the goal for this one is quite simple. I just want to um, orbit. That's basically it. Nothing too complicated. Nothing too hard. Just just allow me to orbit Kerbin and then return home safely. This will probably not work, and I will probably end up plowing my freaking Kerbals into the ground miserably. But it is worth a try, and hopefully it will be entertaining for everyone. So now let's begin this monstrosity. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking lots of fuel tanks, lots of rockets, and hopefully no explosions. So yeah, uh, big money, big money, no whammies. Okay. Uh, maybe. Alright. Next. Like I said, I'm thinking build out, not up. So uh, this could either work very well or it could end very, very, very bad. Hopefully it's the uh, first one, not the second one that happens. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. And let's launch. Oh, crap. I forgot a couple of things. Eh, this will at least give me an idea. Throttle up. SAS on. Oh, God. Oh, this is, this is really bad. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, oh god, no, bail out, bail out. Well, that was a miserable failure. But, Jebediah, Bill, and Bob are all still alive. So I guess in a way it was a success. Let's just, uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, that was, um, that was embarrassing. That was very, very embarrassing. The hell happened? So at first it should launch those, and uh, that, and then, um, oh, that's what it is. Okay, that's not gonna work. Wonder if this will work though. Let's try this. Skip, skip. Oh yeah, we have lift off. A lot of roll, though. But, if it gets me off the ground, who cares? This is an odd-looking ship, I must admit. So far, though, so far, though, it's been, a uh, pretty, pretty good to me. Yeah, all the engines are running. Well, at least the outer four. Okay. So, uh, I think it's time to do a little bit of a time warp. Oh, God. Oh, God. Do they like... They must have different physics engines depending upon the time warp. That explains why sometimes it'll roll, sometimes it won't, sometimes it'll just decide to turn upside down on itself for no reason. Okay, so successful orbit. We are going for a successful orbit. I can begin angling myself at around 100,000 feet. Fah. Like we'll actually hit that. Actually, we may. We have enough fuel. As so long as I can control the overheating and these tanks last, we should be fine. So, uh... Looks like Bob and... Well, Bob's just freaking out. He's like, oh my god, we're gonna die. Bill's a bit more relaxed. He's more like, you know what, dude? I'm skeptic, but it's okay. And then Jebediah is just having the damn time of his life. He's like, sweet baby Jesus! I'm in space! I'm amazing! Okay. Well... You know what, Jeb? 
I'm glad at least you're having fun, because no one else seems to be. And now we wait. We wait for the longest time. Until we hit an acceptable altitude to start our try at an orbit. Because this is nowhere near high enough. That was my failing point last few times I've tried this. Cool, those are done. And uh, just something to talk about. Did you guys catch Black Dynamite last night? I must admit, that was uh, that was pretty funny, you know, having little Michael Jackson beating the living crap out of everyone. Turns out he was an alien. That's always good, wholesome family entertainment. Okay, hitting about a thousand meters a second. I don't want to advance anymore, I just want to match. So I want to keep going up, but not at any more speed. Okay. That's good. This will also conserve fuel, which is nice. Crap, can't get it just quite right. And I must say, they did a really, really good job with, like... I'm not going to say the art, because by no means is this art revolutionary, but, like, the scale, it's awesome. Like, being able to just look out, it's amazing. Okay. Okay, we're close approaching that mark. Close. Fuck it. Let's rip. Okay, now we come back down. And I don't want to come back down from this cloud. Anyway, bush aside. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, okay, we're right at about 100,000 feet. Let's cut off that. And now we begin our slow descent. Slowly. Very, very... Oh, boy, this is gonna end badly. Okay, you son of a bitch. No. Yeah, right on the line. Right on the line. That's right. That's right. Keep it going. Nice and steady. Oh, oh no, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, shit. SAS. SAS. Whew. Okay. Let's turn again. Get it parallel. There we go. I'm going. I'm going to succeed this time. You are not going to fuck me over, you Kerbal sons of bitches. There we go. Now let's hit it. Oh. Cool. Oh shit. This is not good. This is so not kosher. Okay, let's tilt the ship right. Oh god, this is going so awfully. SAS. Level S. Okay. Now let's pull myself up. And now we need to get rotating the correct way. About almost close to the right way. No, you sons of a bitch. Okay, not RCS, SAS. Now let's hit it. And now we simply have to grow our orbit outward. Hopefully this will actually, you know, go according to plan, Simi. Okay, there we go, kind of. Keep on going. Go that way, you. Oh, SAS is on. There we go, that looks good. Now let's hit it. 
And now we just have to grow the orbit. Hopefully it won't decay either, because that sucks. And slowly it is approaching the way I want it. Okay, okay, that's right, come on, you can do it, you can break through the planet in a fiery, fiery way. Let's speed this up a bit, just because this is kind of getting boring. Okay, we're growing good. Oh, this is a really nice orbit, actually. Let's take it, there we go. And now let's kill Throttle. And now we should be able just to ride this up for forever. Let's let's warp a little bit and watch it. Awesome. And now I'll just ride this out until we go back down to the planet. And this is amazing. I'm not even going to lie. Being able to just to like rotate around the planet, hit the dark side and then go back around to the front where the sun is shining. I have to call this episode a success. A, a, a glaring, amazing, unbelievable success just because of this right here because this is this is awesome. I've always been fascinated with space and like this the recent SpaceX launch was amazing because it it allowed capitalist systems to actually take over space exploration. That's amazing to me. But uh, that's that's different. That involves a bunch of stuff I really don't want to talk about on this channel. But just the ability to have this done by an indie developer, no less, is just awesome. Well, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm thinking it's time for some reapproach. Let's kill. Oh, I gotta kill. I. Ooh, that looks interesting. Let's land on that ice right over there. Let's kill SAS. No, 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 no. We want to go to the red now. Go to the red. SAS. SAS. Stabilize us. We want to target the surface. Now let's do a retro burn. Hopefully this will kill off. Yep. Kill it off. Kill it off till right about there. Perfect. And that'll land us right on the continent where we need to be. Now let's do a warp. <coughs> Excuse me. And I think this will land us on the dark side. No, 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 no. It should land us right on the cusp. Awesome. Okay. Hopefully this will be a successful landing. Okay. Now then as the warp decreases, that means we're going to be coming in for a landing soon enough. Okay. So we get a good altitude. We're, d we're under 100,000 meters now. But we have an insane velocity. My god. Okay. We're coming back into the orbit. Let's set SAS up until right about there. This ought to slow us down a lot. Hopefully that'll get us kill that. Again, I'm just like reserving this fuel for afterburns or retro burns, I guess you'd call them, which will really slow us down, which is a good thing in this case. Okay, let's check out where our orbital path is. Alright. Looks like we're going to be hugging it. Awesome. I do believe this might be my first successful launch. And if that's the case, I... It, well, it'll be successful if I don't have them die in a fiery rage. Okay. So right now we're 40,000 meters above the surface. That's not too bad. Alright dudes, we can do this. We're landing on the dark side of the planet. It's night. But we're equipped with a parachute. And you know what they say, parachutes, parachutes soften blows. 
Okay, let's cut SAS off. Na na na. Na 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 na. And there we are, set up right there perfectly. Now, once we hit around a thousand feet, I will launch the parachute, which will then. Oh man. Why can't we do more than two times? That makes no sense. I wish we could fast forward a little bit more. It'll make this process a lot less arduous. But, then again, I suppose you would lose that honor this wonderful comment. Oh, oh god! Son of a bitch! Okay, parachute took hold at around 20,000 feet. Let's retro burn down till we have zero velocity and we can just start falling. There we go. I'm going to save that last little bit of fuel so I can kind of pull off a burn at the very end to soften the blow and hopefully land with this rocket intact. That would be cool to like land with the entire rocket. Okay, we're approaching the surface at 200 meters a second. 188, 160, 150, 140, 130, 120, come on parachute, you should come out soon, oh crap, no, no Kerbals, oh my goodness. I would like to take a moment to commemorate Bill, Jebediah, and Bob. May they rest in peace. Okay, we're done. Let's go ahead and end the flight. We will go back to the Space Center. And I hope you guys really enjoyed that. I personally thought that was okay. Next time, though, we're going to land them successfully, darn it, because that was really disappointing. I can't believe the parachute just gave out. Uh, what can you do? Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed Episode 3 of Kerbal Space Program. By all means, I hope you stick around for more, because by no means are we done. We are going to get to the moon. Hopefully, sooner rather.